forward to do El Soto. He just steps back, you know? I, I rarely see uh, this working unless it's after maybe Bochi or something and then lunging forward. Usually if you just lunge forward, they bring that foot back. So a lot of times I see this kind of thing where guys are, are loose in the lower body and they hook the front leg first almost. The back leg is going to go where the front leg was. So to make sure you're loose, you just bob once or twice. Then uh, hop, 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 and then throw. You notice how I hop the semicircle around on the outside. But by hooking first and maintaining head control, uh, I trap that leg and I'm hopping the circle. I'm drive, continuing to drive. Uh, basically, make sure you're loose. You got to be uh, relegate the tension into your hands and forearms. Right here, not your whole body. Loosen your legs. Make sure they're loose. At that point, this leg is going to jump right to where this leg was, like a half step. Right there. Look. See? Now from here, this leg is reaping, and it's pulling me each time I hop. I'm reaping. Hop, 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 hop. Yeah. <laughs> the, the key is, every time you hook, is you, every time I'm pulling and reaping, which is continual, I'm going chop, chop, chop. Every time I chop, I'm maintaining head control and sleeve control. But every time I chop, I'm hop, hop, hop. And here I am. By now, balance should have been broken. Then I complete the reaping action. Okay. So, I, so you're hopping. Look right away. Hop, hop, hop. Right there. And of course, cover. Okay? Give it a try. So let this arm dance with you. This is doing nothing. He's, he's in the same position I am. He can throw me too. So it's necessary for me to maintain head control. If I'm a collar gripper, not just here, but raise up your elbow like that and drive his head back. Control the head as you do it. Don't let this, if you're right, don't let your right arm dang and pull him off balance with it. Control the head throughout the movement. Go ahead, keep going. We're almost done. Okay. I put this foot here and I do all that pretty much simultaneous. You know, that's the key is getting that hook and starting off balance right away. And then just uh, chopping and hopping. Chopping and hopping. Simultaneously. You know, the breaking of the balance and the foot coming up. Yeah. Same right. Um, you know, Yanni, uh, Yoshi Sada Yonesco was the only coach two times for the United States. Uh, coach of mine, we him Yanni. He always emphasized power from a throw comes to, for example, forward throw. You can't have the leg sweep and the hip come next and the pole come next. All simultaneous. That's where real power comes from. You start dividing it, you know, sweep, pole, it diminishes power. He wanted the hip, sweep, pole to be simultaneous. And he felt that that, and he knew that's where real power came from, like throws. For the rest of us, the struggle was trying to do that. So you know, all, all at once. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Here's a good way to have yep. people start learning this. Choking from behind. That hand is not yours. Touch your chin. Grab two hands on the choking hand. Hook the leg. Hop, 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 and go. Hop, circle, go. Yeah, your shoulder should be landing right in his stern. He is the crash pad. Okay? Do it again. Tuck the chin. That hand's not yours, grab it, tuck the chin. By the way, that's a fundamental of survival. Some hand comes, hey, this isn't mine, grab it. You know? And tuck your chin and start from there. This will give it a great way to practice the hopping motion. It's simpler, actually, than setting it up with a replacement step. And I, I probably should have shown that first as a prelude to what I just showed you. I should have reversed those two things. Okay? So, but let's try it. Let's get one group here, one group down there. Okay, here we go. Did they work out ladder? That's it. Yeah. Hey, that was good. You're having something, you're getting your lunch. Just keep, keep holding the arm. Hold down on that arm. Two hands on one arm. Don't 
change your grip, just pull down on that arm. That's it.